Hey everyone, welcome back to the SAT Math Series by Edu Avenues. Here's the logarithm rules. Number one, the product rule. When multiplying inside the log, you can split it into addition. This is only when we have the same basis. So here's an example. Log base two of eight times four becomes log base two eight plus log base two four, which turns into five. Number two, the quotient rule. If you're dividing, then subtract. Again, this only applies when you have the same base. Here's an example. Log base two eight divided by four becomes log base two eight minus log base two four. And this becomes three minus two, which ends up being one. Next up, the power rule. When you have an exponent inside the log, pull it out front. So log base b x to the power of n becomes n times log base b x. So here's our example. And when you follow the rule, it ends up being six. Next up is change of base. You need to convert to a different base, then use log base b x and turn that into log x over log b. And here you can use any base for the logarithm. So here's our example, and it ends up being 4. Now we're going to be talking about two key identities, the first of which is the logarithm of 1. Log base b of 1 is always equal to 0 because anything to the 0th power is 1. Here's our example. Our next identity is the logarithm of the base. So log base b of b is always equal to 1 because b to the power of 1 is always going to be just b. Here's our example. Now let's try an SAT level practice problem. Here we're going to be solving for x. So our problem is log base 4x plus log base 4 8 is equal to 3. And once you work this out with all of our rules, we get that the answer to our problem is x is equal to 8. That's it. You've mastered the key logarithm rules. Follow Edu Avenues for more SAT math tricks and don't forget to subscribe.